All right, the other purpose, which could even be more important, is uh, I'm going to use this, this example and turn off these movements to be able to focus here a little bit. So another aspect of using this tool is to analyze some, uh, some speed. So I can use the fastest path tool of torus on these roundabouts. And then what it does is that it calculates the vehicle speeds for me. So I'm going to focus on only one, only one route. Let this be this one. And I'm going to change this to yellow color so we can actually see it better. So what's happening here is that we have some we have some tolerances, some offsets, which are measured from the tire track. So currently this is using uh, a North American vehicle. Since this is in the Netherlands, I can choose it um, to use a, uh, a passenger car. We also have the latest uh, CROW uh, publication from 2012. It's just not in my system here. But I'm going to use uh, this passenger car from 2004. So what's happening here is that if I set these offsets to zero, then my vehicle is uh, basically it takes uh, the widest available space it can. And that's why it will achieve the highest speed so I have my vehicle speed, uh, my, my vehicle pass calculated here. Based on these entry, uh, intermediate and exit radii and the super elevation and friction factors, speeds are calculated. So as we see here, it is 32 km per hour, the speed which a vehicle can achieve here. There is another set of uh, another way to calculate speeds, which is uh, the similar way. It only identifies a radius in the middle. So the speed with these two calculations in the middle is the same, 33 km per hour. But this calculation uses some uh, deceleration and acceleration rates in order to figure out if this vehicle takes this curve with 33 km per hour, how fast can it accelerate out from that spot? Again, likewise, uh, if it is 33 km per hour that this vehicle needs to have here, how early should it break in order to achieve that? So these are the two, two ways to calculate uh, speed. In some regions both two are mandated, others uh, might just specify one. So again, this is calculated for, uh, for any kind of vehicle, uh, vehicle route. Obviously, it's, those are the through paths which are uh, the most problematic ones. So in this roundabout I don't really see any, any number which which stands out dramatically. Perhaps this one uh, being uh, 46 km per hour. But this tool could help you uh, a tremendous lot to, to figure out if there is any reason for a problematic spot of, on a roundabout or to evaluate certain roundabout uh, design proposals or layout proposals.